Hey, listeners. <laughs> this is Alex here. Jen's here too. And this is Jen. Oh, yeah. Yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Great. And uh, we're coming to you live today from the Practice Odyssey. For any new listeners, um, every two weeks, Jen and I choose a new practice method or a book or, um, you know, or an app that will help us enhance our practicing in theory, Um, which is why we call this our practice odyssey, because now we are on a journey and we hope that you will join along too. Woo! It's all about the journey. It's all about the journey, not the destination. Today on the, the practice odyssey, Jen and I are going to break down our experience using the smiling mind. Um, Jen, what is the Smiling Mind? Smiling Minds is a what it is is a program which is focused on mindfulness mindfulness meditation, which is based on a 2,500 year old Buddhist practice called vipassana. 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 And yes, and the point of vipassana is to develop the skill of paying attention to inner and outer experiences with kindness and compassion. So that's what they've based this mindfulness program on. So we uh, use the app for these two weeks to focus on it. Um, The program itself is developed by psychologists and educators. And the idea is this idea of mental health and looking after your mind. The whole program itself is 100% non-profit and was launched in 2012 by Jane Martineau and James Tutton. Uh, They've also produced a book called Mindfulness Made Easy. And the whole program is considered in Australia one of the leaders in preemptive mental health, in the preemptive mental health space. And what the program's idea is to lead to better attention, memory and regulation of emotions and self-awareness. And this is in schools and in the workplace. and And some of the benefits is increased resilience, clearer, more focused thinking, heightened performance, anxiety reduction, and stress management skills. And it's, um, it is Australia's largest meditation program. Wow. Uh, it's used in school curriculum and also by big corporate organizations such as IBM, Origin, and BP. So it's, um, yeah, it's getting a lot of interest. Yeah. So they've got a lot of different um, versions of this. You, you, they've got the book, Smiling Mind, as we mentioned. Um, they've also got a website, which you can go into and see some of the other um, uh, programs they've got going. But we used the app, which they've developed. So I'll go ahead and break down how we practice this. So um, in the mindfulness app, there are different programs you can choose. And so the one that we use for our needs is called Sport. Um, And it was designed with Cricket Australia, if I remember correctly. Um, Yes. And it's designed to complement your regular sports training for professionals and amateur um, amateur sports people alike. How Smiling Minds has broken this down is they have six different sections and each section contains two meditations. So um, what we did was it worked out perfectly with our two weeks. So Monday through Saturday or during the week, we would do every day two meditations, one before and then a smaller medium one to check in during our practice time. So the first one was um, tuning into your surroundings. And then the, the second one was training session, working mindfully with emotions. The third one was mindful movement. So helping you become tuned into your body and be aware of new things. And then number four was sharpening your concentration, which was using the breath to sharpen your focus. Um, number five was mindful walking. Um, which is basically what it says, learning how to walk mindfully. And number six (laughs) uh, was tensing and relaxing. So the art of how to let go of tension in your body. So for each of those, there was about, there was a a initial meditation that would take anywhere from 15 to three minutes, I think was the shortest one. 
And yeah. then there were the little mini meditations, which you would do in the middle of practice, which are usually around three minutes long. So that's yeah. what we did for two weeks straight. So oh. Yeah. So Jen, how was is, how is your week one? I realized, I think first for the first time, it well, not for the first time, I guess it really sunk home again. The lesson was relearned about how much your mind is a muscle which can be trained and yeah, uh, made really, stronger. Absolutely. And I don't know. I don't know what your experience has been in your education, Alex, but my experiences, I hear, you'd hear about it, but you wouldn't know what really what they meant by that or how it applied to your practice. They'd be like, oh, it's really important to, you know, practice your concentration and your, and your mental training for playing. But then they wouldn't actually follow it up, tell you how to do that, mm-hmm. if you know what I mean. It's just like, see, they're going, okay, so what do I do? Some sort of Jedi meditation and lift a rock with my mind. What, what are we talking about here? <laughs> and, um, yeah, and, and I don't know, is it? Is it because the people we're all taught by are just naturally really good at this, which is why they're so good, because it comes naturally to them? They've never really had to learn it. You know, it's come easily to them. I don't know. But it's just never really been talked about a huge amount. Um, and and I, I don't know. I just I never the importance of mental training. Never. I didn't realize what sort of, uh, I guess, emphasis should be on it for my practicing. Like, there's kind of this. I, I walked around like so many times in performance preparation for performances. I've kind of walked around with this delusion. If I practice enough hours before it, then it'll be fine on the day. Only to have complete debacles happen Mm -hmm. on stage because all of a sudden my brain just completely went off piece for whatever reason yeah so what I really enjoyed about these exercises was they were really simple like I didn't have to get my head wrapped around crazy like really complicated meditations where I had to think about 50 million things at once or really complicated (laughs) abstract ideas like they just have to do really simple things, maybe because it's aimed at a youth audi- audience, mm-hmm. which, hooray, that's probably my right on my, <laughs> right on my level. Um, it's just really simple. So the daily, the two dailies I really enjoyed. So we basically are asked to sit and breathe. Yeah. <laughs> and observe your surroundings. I really liked that. Yeah. But also and, what I. Yeah. He doesn't really make you like stay in one place too. He's like, you can sit down. Uh, you can lay down, yeah. whatever's comfortable for you. I really enjoyed that as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And actually something which I wish I'd done is maybe play around with maybe doing it while I was standing. So, mm. you know, you're in more of a position which you would be when you're performing and then you can feel about it that way. Right. But anyway, that's maybe, maybe that's more verdict territory. But so daily number two, that was the one I enjoyed the most because oh, okay. Okay. number two asks you to – it focuses on your emotions and often my emotion before walking on stage is what am I doing? <laughs> Why am I doing this? Is this really fun? Did I really think this was a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> and and yeah. I'm just kind of doing this play by play of what could go wrong in my head um, and the bits which I'm terrified of. Mm-hmm. Which I guess is part of the process of, well, like visualizing the parts which you need to kind of be super careful about before you go on stage. But it does go quite negative and also there's like a lot of crazy emotions which come into it because it is like a really high pressure environment. Well, yeah. And like doing but music my- is like, you know, it's a very es- um, emotional thing itself too because, you know, it's supposed yeah. to be performed with emotion and you're expressing how you have felt about this piece, like how you have found it, you know, how you want to express it to your audience. And it's a very personal mm. thing. And so now you're opening up, you know, your interpretation and basically your soul to an audience. And I could, yeah, it would be really easy. It's... Uh, 
it happens to me all the time where it can go into a negative headspace where it's like, they're not going to like this. It's going to go yep. horribly. What am I doing here? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Exactly. Like you start um, thinking about, um, it's almost like the audience turns into judges. I don't, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, or, your, or yourself really. Well, me biggest judge we become we I, make the audience our biggest judges we imagine them all just yeah judging or like yeah yeah or ourselves it's like yeah um but what i really liked and and my response to those emotions which comes from that is often to try and or while i'm playing is to kind of be like oh no i shouldn't be thinking this i'm getting distracted i'm getting distracted kind of trying to push it down push it down push it down push right. it away out of my mind which often has the opposite well, it's not a successful strategy. Let's put it. Well, yeah, because that, <laughs> let's put it that those way. thoughts find a way into your body instead, right? Like, okay, so I'm yeah. not thinking about it, but now my hands are sweaty or my hands are shaky or yeah. I'm not thinking about it, but by trying not to think about it, I've lost, you know, the, the I've concentration made it of my it's breath. Like, and... It's like when at the end of a piece you get the dreaded chin wobbles. Oh. Have you got the chin lip wobbles before? Oh, the, yes. Especially with like a beautiful long note at the end of like mm -hmm. a, pa a piece which you've just made it through. And then you get the uncontrollable chin wobbles, the lip wobbles. Oh, my gosh. And the more you think about it mm -hmm. and stopping it, the worse <laughs> it gets. Yes. It's yes. like this self-perpetuating prophecy. It's mm -hmm. like a Greek tragedy come down. <laughs> and it, it's, it's hilarious. It's kind of like you got to laugh about it or else you're just going to cry. Mm -hmm. But this, it, it's, it's just fantastic. And what I liked about this exercise of number two is it's, in the exercise, it's just like, okay, I want you to recall something when you had a really, which you had a really strong emotion about. It can be positive or it can be negative, whatever you want it to be. Um, and then kind of you're almost asked to separate yourself from the emotion and kind of be curious about it. It says bring curiosity in and kind of think about how you're, how is it affecting your body? How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. um, how, how do, how, what's your body doing when, when, with this feeling? And um, what effect is it having on you? And it, it's, it's hard to explain what that does, but it almost puts it in perspective. I guess like, you know, if you focus on something too hard or get worried about it, you can get like tunnel vision about it mm -hmm. and it just – it opens up into your whole vision, but in some, this kind of makes you step back from it yeah. and you kind of get this perspective. And then following on from that, they ask you to breathe with that emotion and see how it feels when you breathe in and then whether the emotion changes when you breathe out. And I didn't think anything would be different when I did it, but it did change. The emotion did change it's like it became less when I breathed out mm -hmm. it was so weird <laughs> I was really strange I have That's no so awesome no I it yeah it was really it was really interesting I mean it piqued my curiosity which I guess is the point of it you know it's kind of like mm -hmm. almost remove the power from that emotion and um in the moment and yeah so I really really I that that was that was a revelation in my week one <laughs> It's an amazing revelation. Uh, like it was, it was a it was a great revelation. Yeah, <laughs> you can totally use that in your next concert too. Because like then it's like okay, I'm thinking I will. Like yeah, you, I'm really thinking I will. Yeah, because when you practice it, then you can um like it's easier in the moment. It's not like something you've never done before. It's like oh, I've practiced this. Now I just have to do it again, slightly you know higher odds. But you know it's like I'm I'm used to this. It's mm. okay. We've got this. It's just training yeah. for your brain or your mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Another thing I really enjoyed was the number. It was that, which one was it? It was the number four. Oh, the concentration. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a goal orientated one. Oh, this yeah. is the one where you have to sit and breathe because you're breathing, you're observing your breath, and you uh -huh. just got to focus on observing your breath, breathing in and breathing out. Mm -hmm. And then you have to count to 10 on every breath. So you breathe in one. And two is the out breath. Mm -hmm. I think that's how it goes. Three in breath, four out breath. Yep. And every time your mind flips to something else, no matter how briefly, you have to start back at number one. Yep. I swear, Alex, 
I never got to number three. Oh my gosh. Never. <laughs> That's so good. Apparently, I have the worst concentration ever known to man. I was like, wow. No, I didn't okay. make it very far, especially in week one. It was just <laughs> like, okay, in, out, in. Oh, I like my breathing. This is going well. Maybe I should. No. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You just get carried away in the moment of your breathing. You're like, am I controlling my breathing? You're like, oh, man. Now I've got to start at one again. It's like, oh. I, I kind of, I feel the challenge now. I want to work on that one. My goal is to get to number 10. I'm going to become a boss at breath concentration. Oh, that is my, heck yes. That is my new goal of life. <laughs> <laughs> to sum up my week one, uh, I really enjoyed the, uh, like, exploring my emotions. I thought that was very interesting. Mm -hmm. And I realized how short my concentration is. <laughs> to be fair. I didn't think yes. it would be that much of an effect on my plane. I was surprised at how much in such a short time it affected how I was practicing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was surprising. How did, after how, only how, a week. after only a week, how did, how did your week one go, Alex? Uh, well, it was, uh, so like you, I think I went into this kind of, um, like I, I'm kind of in a similar like I went into my week one with a similar background with mindfulness that you have. Um, mm. Like I've always been, um, everyone's been like, oh, everyone tells me all the time, mindfulness is great. You should meditate. And I've definitely dabbled in it before. And <laughs> Dabble is it. such a great word. Yes. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I've it's dabbled. Like, do it for one problem... day. You're like, I'm a master. Okay, never have to do it exactly. again. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many emoji, like little uh, memes out there for that, like you know, one day I'm master. And I'm a guru, master. You know, I've done this for this short amount of time, and now it's just fantastic. And then the next day you're like, no, not again. So yeah, so back to my dabbling. Um, you're dabbling. So, yes. um, first, I have to say, if more um, mindfulness apps had Australians talking, <laughs> I probably would have jumped on this bandwagon a long time ago because I felt as though it was just one of my mates just talking <laughs> me through how to do things. And he's so, the voice, whoever they got to do the talking for this Cricket Australia Sport 1 is just lovely. He's He'll be Beautiful. talking. He's like, you know, breathe in and out. If your mind wanders, that's okay. That's so, okay. You know, just it's bring okay. it back. And it's so, all okay. It was just, <laughs> It was so nice. Oh my gosh. I loved it the whole time. I was like, I can do this. And I also really enjoyed how they set it up. So I actually have a little two minute listening uh, audio diary we can try. Cool. I'll play it now. Um, just talking me through the process of like getting into the app and how, how it was really interesting. So anyways, without further ado, I'll go ahead and play that. Cool. All right. So I am now setting up Smiling Mind. Who else is excited? Um, wants me to send note and wants to ask if I can send notifications. Except I'm going full on. Hundred percent not for profit. Excellent. But I have some questions. What's your experience with mindful meditation? Eh, tried it a little. Put the middle one. All right. How old am I? <laughs> no, this is getting very personal, especially since out of six categories, I am currently in the oldest at 31. Excellent. Oh, no. I'm 31. <laughs> what brings you to Smiling Mind? Is there a Gen Bird option? No. Well, that's disappointing. Um, I'm an individual. All right. What am I interested in? Everything. Uh, ooh, managing stress, mindful eating, but mindfulness at work, I guess. Attention and concentration, that sounds great. Proving performance, I think that would qualify. Proving relationships, mindfulness and education, proving well-being. I mean, if I did more sport, I would click that too, but all of them count. <laughs> I should put sport. Does walking count as a sport? Great. Okay. I'm done. And they've given me some selections. Oh, that's cool. Hey, all right. Let's do this. There you go. That's awesome. 
so yeah so um yeah i do remember you calling me up and be like jen i can't find any of the of these meditations you were talking about i was like oh yes it's under i was like where it's under sport (laughs) (laughs) the one thing i did not click to Yeah. So, um, but yeah, that's kind of, I really liked how they walked you through and kind of, you know, help. So, but outside the ones that we did for this podcast, you can choose other ones as well. And they're all free. Like, I know. what? I really I'm like go the over sleep that in my verdict, ones. But yeah. Oh. But yeah, so I started using it and uh, like you, I really enjoyed like the, the mindful movement during the training. I did that one quite a few times throughout the mm. week, even though we weren't supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> um, just because oh, well. I found it really nice. Like, and I played around with where I would do it as well. So the first time mm. I did it, I was just sitting at my desk um, with like my flute out. And then the second time I decided to try and do it in sur- Shavasana. Um, which okay. is a, the yoga move that where you're just basically laying on the floor and r- as relaxed as possible. Oh. And it's my favorite part of the yoga experience. <laughs> it's lying on your back on the They just lay you on the ground at the end and <laughs> for like five minutes. And it's so nice. <laughs> it's my favorite bit. I don't think I mean, we do but... enough of it, to be honest. We should incorporate more of that into our lives. <laughs> We should. Just lying. <laughs> just lying. <laughs> yeah, just lying and chilling. Yeah, mum was doing yeah. shavasana um, under a tree in a park and this guy, her eyes are closed, and this guy walks over going, yeah, there's this lady just lying prone on the ground. He's like talking to the ambulance because he thinks mum's collapsed. And he's like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh no, it's fine. She's she's moving. It's okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> So be oh careful, gosh, people, where you do. Where, be careful, people, where you do your yoga meditation because you yes. might alarm your other citizens. Yes. So in week one, I really enjoyed playing around with that one, and then I also um, enjoyed meditation where they have you like practice your balance a bit and like move side to side. Oh. And I think you do like a little bit of stretching in it too. And it almost yeah, like, yeah that's uh, that the... number three. Yeah, yeah mindful movement. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed that one too. And it felt like a little mini yoga session. So (laughs) although (laughs) I have to say one of the downfalls for me in week one was I always forgot the little mini ones, the mini practice, like during the coffee breaks, how Uh, we're supposed to do the extras. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, If there were audio diaries, if I thought to push record throughout the whole, like, which I do record my (laughs) practice sessions, but like there was a lot of me going like, ah, coffee done. Let's get back to it. And then halfway through being like, oh no, (laughs) the mini session. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Overall week one, I was, I was definitely enjoying it. So, and getting a bit out of it, but yeah, that was some things I noticed in week one for my for myself so so jen how was your week two so of our listeners in week two we kind of do what we did in week one but we also might change it up a bit besides me already changing it up a bit in week one um and yeah we kind of put our own spin on things as much as we can so (laughs) we did we did um so two things okay so first one uh so I really liked the daily exercise number one. Excellent. Because it kind of helped me get in the zone. Mm. So I'd sit there and be like, oh, fine, okay, I'll just, I'll just sit down somewhere and I'll breathe <laughs> for how long does it go for? Ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Ten minutes I will breathe and observe my surroundings. <laughs> um, so that really helped me. Yeah, I don't know. It's almost like it just kind of slowed my brain down, help me get in the zone. And actually I found that my practice was a lot more focused I, from doing that in the morning to studying it. I had, I had like this gig where I had to, it, it's just like background music, you know, the classic, mm-hmm. um, uh, I had to sight read through all these Excellent. French tangos, which is, you know, nice. It's nice. But you know, a sight reading gig is kind of, Oh yes, <laughs> it's basically you know you kind of have to con- you have to concentrate. There's no autopilot because <laughs> if you don't concentrate, then all of a sudden you're playing a different piece to what everyone else is. <laughs> anyway, but um, and I mean it was okay, but it was tango, so you know tangos do enjoy throwing in the odd curveball for rhythms and all that jazz. <laughs> so it's uh, <laughs> yeah, but um, I did this. Uh, so I was I was I was a little bit apprehensive about it. I was like, oh, I was getting a bit tense about it. Um, cause it's also really long. It's been like two hours. And, um, uh, so I did the daily exercise one before it 
and it really got me out of my own head, Ooh. which was great. I really, like, I went in really focused, mm -hmm. way more focused and <gasps> with way more of those little butterfly thoughts, like, flapping around in your brain. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and, and I just, I, I went in feeling positive about it, which was oh, good because, yay. yeah, yeah. And that was just after, that, was, that would have been just the beginning of week two. So, like, after... So going through week two. So this is just after a week. So mm -hmm. I, that was really, that was kind of like a positive, a positive kind of reinforcement of the process, which I was in the middle of. Now I'm going to get in. The week two was also like the illumination of number six. Number six is the one which they specify as the post-training exercise. Mm -hmm. So for observing tension so it's got two so the big long one is for after you do your training practice mm -hmm. and then it's little short kind of short inversion you can do during your practice to use with your right um to like figure out where you're holding tension in your body when you're practicing when you're playing or practicing or performing whatever you're doing mm -hmm. um so i'd use that last week and it's you know that that was good the <laughs> the long version it's like all about tensing your body up and then relaxing it in different combinations. So first your hands and different parts of your body, all the, yeah, all the ones. Then it kind of builds up to the end when you have to relax your torso and tense your arms and legs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you have to switch. You have to relax your torso. Uh, what did I just say? What was the opposite? The opposite of what I just so said. So you had to relax your torso to... and tense your arms and legs. So now you had to relax your arms and legs and uh, tense your torso. Legs and tense your yes. torso. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, it was kind of like the insanely difficult version of rub your tummy, pat your head. <laughs> For me. <laughs> I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. I don't know what it was. It drove me nuts. So I would finish that exercise feeling more tense than I had when I started oh, it. No. Just because for some reason I was just getting really knotted up. It's like, oh, so it'd like tense my, tense my arms and then my whole torso would tense at the same time. I'm just like, you gotta relax. <laughs> anyway, it was a, it was a debacle, Alex. Oh my gosh. And the other thing which I did a little audio diary on was number five. Oh my gosh. I just tried uh, the mindfulness exercise number six where it's about tension in your body. And um, <laughs> this is part of it where you've got to relax your torso but then tense your arms and legs and then just switch that around. It's, it's like the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> It's like where you kind of have to pat your head and rub your tummy at the same kind time, except 50 billion times harder. I'm so coordinated. Anyway, so I like I'm walking around and it goes for about 15 minutes, mm -hmm. quite long. Um, and I'm walking around and started getting kind of, kind of yeah, you kind of got like a bit impatient, and then like you mentioned this, and then the guy would. The guy would say, okay, you may be feeling impatient. I'm going to ask you now to do five more steps. Yeah. <laughs> yep, okay. And you're like, okay. And he's like, I want you to think about how that changed the way you were walking. Have you sped up? Yeah. Or are you, are you out of the zone now? And that made me think about my practice, particularly when I'm like leading up to something big like a recital or an audition. Right. How is that goal affecting the way which I'm working is, and is it in a positive way? Like I think sometimes you get so like the, 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 this, this kind of physical goal, which, you know, maybe you're like often feeling like it's pretty intimidating. Mm -hmm. um, kind of you get impatient at your progress or the state of where you are and so you want to kind of rush things or push things faster than is helpful right and yeah so I was yeah I found that really uh, that was an interesting thing to think about so <laughs> and this idea of like deliberately recognizing again with curiosity the impatience <laughs> and kind of and kind of distancing yourself from it and kind of just allowing yourself to kind of be at the pace which you are I felt yeah I really liked the effect that had on my practice for the next 
well after that little epiphany for the next couple of days yeah oh, yeah he definitely yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah that was that was an interesting that was an interesting one anyway so that was my week two. Oh my gosh so my week two uh so um like week one uh i really enjoyed all the exercises and all the meditations mm-hmm. kept forgetting the mini sessions still okay it was very tricky. that's okay they're kind of my brain's they're kind of like yeah. during practice. Yeah, I kind of felt like they were like tiny little versions of the small ones, which you could just kind of slip in practices during practice yeah, while you're standing exactly. around, which is a big part of cricket. <laughs> so, so yeah. maybe less applicable um, to us. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, during this time, uh, my cousins were also visiting us Ooh, um, okay. from Seattle, so awesome. here in Germany. So, hello, Sandra and Naomi, if you're listening. Um, but I found these really useful because we would often be out a lot doing things and I would be showing them around here because um, since I do live in Germany, it's uh, and whenever I have visitors, you want to spend as much time with them as possible mm, because yeah. it's A, really far away and B, you want to spend time with them. Um, so I, I noticed that it was a lot easier for me the times where I had a little bit of spare time to practice uh, when I would do these meditations beforehand. It was a lot easier. Like, I, I don't know. I felt like I, as though I got more out of the practicing. Like it was like okay and now okay like i've done my meditation and now i need to practice yeah 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 it was really good and i didn't have as much time to practice as i normally would during the week yeah but i felt as though i still got a lot out of each session thanks to um whichever meditation was on the day that's really cool (laughs) Um, it's so funny because the walking one, I also had like no patience for. <laughs> and you mentioned, Jen, and yours that it felt like it was like the longer one, about 15 minutes. And I checked. <laughs> it's only five minutes long. Oh my gosh, it felt like 15 <laughs> minutes. it feels like 15 it minutes. It feels like so. 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, uh, yeah, I also felt like it was quite long, but also very yeah. helpful yeah um and during this week um i read a book a while back about the f- positive aspects of um uh positive affirmations <laughs> yeah and um i found um a podcast um mm. and it's called affirmation pod and i'll put a link to it in our show notes but she has a whole bunch that are just great like i i really like number 140 performing under pressure Ooh. and there's another one 156 called inner critic and inner bff and so and it kind of helps for me. Those really helped me as well. I would make I would do the smiling minds one, and then also this one as well. Mm. And it's just her talking about how to like keep a happy and positive outlook um, on life, or you know, when you're playing or when you're in a stressful situation. She has these affirmations for almost every topic. When they're that's really cool, so useful. Mm. So I also started putting some of those in there as well. And I've I've used her before before and after performances and I've noticed um that they really help as well before a performance so which is great um and actually I did um and I had a concert this past week with our music for Ryan here in yeah. Germany yeah yeah so and I did and we played for three hours so it was Whoa. quite a long time yeah I mean which I mean when you're one of many it's a little less stressful but it was a lot of playing it's and still I a lot found of playing the, yeah yeah um, so I did getting rid of tension afterwards as well. <gasps> Ooh, how did you <laughs> find it? Really... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I found it very helpful. Really? Like you, the whole like multitasking, releasing <laughs> and holding tension <laughs> in certain parts was kind of tricky. But the second week I did it after this thing, I was so tired. It actually felt as though it was easier for me. Really? And so, I, I don't know. Maybe like, that's maybe my, how my it works. All... Maybe you need to be yeah. physically tired as well. You just need to do a concert for three hours yeah, straight playing you just polkas. Play. And... <laughs> 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 so, and then I'll be all set. But, oh, um, my gosh. Yeah. So that was my insight in week two. And, um, yeah, that was really, really good. So I, I, I really enjoyed my week two. It was a, it was a good week, too. But um, I think we might be coming up to verdict territory. I think we are. I don't want to ruin uh, yeah. anything else. I think we're in verdict um, territory. Yeah. So my verdict on Smiling Mind. Okay, first off, America, this program is free. Like, you <laughs> get all of these for free. Like, an Australian talking to you through a meditation. And it's free. It's free. Like, I mean, I there are so many apps in the world, like, 
I don't want to, I don't know if I'm allowed to say them because I don't want us to get like copyrighted or for them to come after me because they also have great aspects, but they're all like subscription based. Mm. And I understand that these are companies that have to make money. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, but like this, it's free. You don't have to do it. And they have so many different programs out there as well. And this isn't sponsored by the way. Smiling Mind, I don't think they know that we exist. They don't. Um, maybe they do after this podcast, but like, we can send this it is to not them. Sponsored. But no. It's a non-profit. For research. It's not sponsored. For research, we can send it. <laughs> this is what happens when yeah. musicians try your app. You're welcome. Yeah, if you were curious. Um, and so I just think that's, that's really phenomenal that there's this resource out there for people to mm. get into meditation where they mm. can do it from the comfort of their home. Yeah. That they can do it from what wherever and they have all these different areas and you don't have to pay for it so yeah yeah yeah, i think that is awesome um second the australian accent for me (laughs) was amazing i think that's what's been missing from my meditation practice all these years and why maybe i haven't gotten into it the secret ingredient (laughs) yeah so oh my gosh and it was just like it was just like your mate walking you through a nice meditation I don't know. If the voice just kind of rubs me the wrong way, it's really hard for me to, like I said earlier, get into the right mindset. They sound like a therapist. So, yeah, exactly. And for this, um, for the sports session, um, like section of the meditations that we did, um, it was great. Um, I like supplementing it as well with some other ones, but I mean, it was very good. And I think that I will definitely continue to keep adding these into my practice because like we discussed they're also not that long so it's not a big time commitment Mm -hmm. so I think the Mm -hmm. longest one that we did for the initial outset one is is 15 minutes so wasn't very long at all and it's that's an easy way to break that into the practice during the week so so yes so my verdict is two thumbs up can't recommend this enough why have you not downloaded this? If you're listening to this and you haven't downloaded this yet, like, what are you doing with your life? No, I'm kidding. Thank you for listening. We love you. So, <laughs> so that's my verdict. Oh. So, Jen, your verdict. How did you find your two weeks with mm. Smiling Minds? Smiling so. Minds. Um, my verdict. Oh. Look, it was very good. It was very good. I really, I really did enjoy this. I'm hearing a button here, though. No, no, no. Oh, there, there is no button. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, the button. Okay. <laughs> the, the, the butt is purely. Um, I realized that I need to make this a consistent part of my life, um, for it to really have the effect it could have. I think, yeah, just all of them. It's kind of exploring ways to help yourself stay in the present rather than worrying about the future or obsessing about the past. You can keep yourself in the present and focused on what you need to Mm -hmm. focus on at that point on the things that you can control, which Mm -hmm. I think is really hard for me. I like to worry and worry about everything, which I can't control. What do people think of me? Am I going to make a mistake? What about all those other times I did this? Like, also, it's we have just, to make dinner tonight. Yeah, I have to make dinner <laughs> tonight. Oh, no, I forgot to go shopping. There's only moldy carrots in the fridge. You know, just like, it's everything. But what I'm supposed to be focusing on when I walk walk on stage. And I think this is, yeah, it's going to make me feel like I can see this if I if I'm good at committing to this, I can see this making the whole, the whole, ex- the every, yeah, just way more okay. positive. Yes. Well, let's try to keep doing these in our practice. Though. Let's try. Let's, this yes. is, this Maybe is, we this can is be our goal. Meditation buddies. I'm going to be, this is my goal to become a concentration master. I'm going to manage to do those 10 breaths without. <laughs> that is my life goal. Life goal. Yay. Yay. I believe you can do it. So, yep. uh, so your verdict would be my verdict is two or... thumbs up as well. Yep, uh, really enjoyed this. It's so accessible, yay. like you said, so accessible, so easy to follow. It's it's great for starting out with this idea of mindfulness meditation. It's not too complicated, not too theoretical. It's just really simple mm-hmm. and really effective. Yeah, I think it's just really yes. well done. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, and then that's our show for today. Thanks to Ivan Potter for our fabulous show art. And today's episode was edited by the amazing Ms. Alex Woods. And our theme music was also written by Ms. Alex Woods. Our episode was produced 
uh, with Buzzsprout, so big thanks to them. Please send us any of your thoughts and questions to our email at thepracticeodyssey at gmail.com. And if you like this episode, please subscribe so you can subscribe to hear our bi-weekly podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, TuneIn and Alexa and iHeartRadio. So again, big thanks for joining us on our Odyssey. It's got a Thank long you. way to go and we look and forward to seeing you next week.